Hey everybody, here's a view of how my day starts. Yeah, and it sucks, I promise. Well, anyway, here's a view of how my dang day starts. I pull in, first place, I think you just know where this is to set my crap off. One of three places I have to go today. I pull in here, I'm sitting here. Yeah, I'm sitting here. Trust me, much better than changing gears. I love it. So if anybody wants to say anything about the Allison automatics in a 18 wheeler yeah see 18 wheeler that's not a little short truck but anyway uh it's freaking awesome you don't have to change gears at all i love it but anyway mater's motor is ready to go in the truck i need some help is anybody close by i plan on doing this uh, i plan on starting on it saturday night which would be the what today's the 5th of july so it'll be 6 7 8 wait a minute no today's the 5th be the 7th and I'm going to work on it until it's in. So if anybody uh, out there is close by and wants to help put Mater's motor in that has changed motors before, I need some assistance. Uh, as you all know, I've got back problems and everything else. But, you know, we're talking a 700-pound motor. i got to get in there and get it twisted just right and get it up on the bell house and things of that nature. You know, and getting the hood off and everything. If it's a small block swap, the motor actually, believe it or not, a small block will come in and out from under the hood with the hood on. Yeah, I've done it several times. I've never actually taken the hood off this truck to put an engine in it. But for this big block, I'm kind of... I haven't done any measuring or anything else, but I really don't think it'll clear. I think it'd be easier to take the hood off anyway. So I need some help. Who wants to help me? See y'all.